The S-Class has been the flagship for Mercedes-Benz for decades and also their platform to debut new technologies and innovations. So how do you make a car better that has the best of everything? You make it a convertible. This is the all new Mercedes-Benz S-Class Cabriolet and it's the first convertible for the flagship sedan in almost 50 years. The Cabriolet is based on the S-Class Coupe and it looks just as good as the S-Class Coupe, except it's a drop top. Like most Mercedes-Benz products, the styling is subtle and I'm a big fan of that. This car doesn't scream out, look at me, look at me, but those in the know will know that this is something special. Another thing I like about the styling of this car with the top up, it looks, I think, just as good as with the top down. Everything is proportioned very well, considering this is a fairly large car. The 19-inch wheels really fill the fenders up very nicely. And on a lot of modern cars, the lighting is a highlight. Well, how about this taking it to the next level? Instead of just standard LED daytime running lights, this has the Swarovski Crystal Package. So what you're seeing here are 94 Swarovski Crystals. Cost, only $4,000. The back has an easy open trunk. You just kick your foot under, there it goes, opens up. As you can see, I have a, a knapsack here and a couple other things. Uh, ample amount of room for anything you'd have, like groceries and things like this. You could probably do a Costco run in there, no problem. Width-wise, I'd say it'd be a tight squeeze for some golf clubs, but really, you got those back seats, so I'd probably put them in there instead of trying to wiggle them in here. The interior of the regular S-Class is quite spectacular and that's no different with this S-Class Cabriolet. I don't really even know where to start. Let's start by what's staring you right in the eye are two 12.3 inch screens, one as an instrument panel, the other as your infotainment and uh, easy to use. They, they're operated with this command center in the center. Uh, you have almost like a, a mouse with a trackpad. You can use that or a dial and you can configure this however you want. You got the radio there, and we can mute that. We can go into navigation and show the entire uh, screen, a lot of real estate. And in the center, you have your, your tack and your speedometer, of course, and you can cycle through different things from your trip, your navi, your radio, your media, whatever you would like. Uh, now, one thing, though, I kind of wish, though, I'm a fan of the screens, but I'm not really kind of a fan of the styling of them or lack of the... They're really easy to use. They're very clear. The graphics are amazing. I kind of would like to see more of a shape to them, maybe, or at least uh, contour some shapes around them so they don't look so square. Because the rest of the cockpit has beautiful curves to it. Just follow the stitching along, and then you can see the wood and it has this, all these gorgeous curves and this leather interior. And then below, you have your, your air vents. Very classy looking. Below that, you have, <laughs> that's right, you have an ashtray. I guess smoking is still not dead in some markets. And then below you have your cup holders. This flips forward uh, to hide that. You can have a nice compartment for your phone. One really great thing about buying the Cabriolet is that it's almost fully loaded as is. There's only a few options. One of them is the Swarovski crystal headlights that we showed you. And another option is night vision. You can press the button here and you have uh, night vision, great for seeing wild animals, maybe if you're on country roads or seeing people that are, are darkly dressed in, you can see them through your center screen there. Along with that, Standard comes a great heads-up display, one of the better ones that I've seen, very clear. The Burmester sound system, that comes standard in the cab uh, and other Mercedes-Benz products. This is over a $6,000 option, so that's a lot of value you're getting there as well. And then you get to the seats. Now, that's where it's really special. Beautiful leather seats, of course, like I wish my, my couch at home felt this comfortable. Uh, you have a billion different ways, I'm exaggerating, but there's a lot of adjustments you can make on it. And a, a really nice uh, adjustable headrest, padded very nicely. And of course it has memory. Then you have heat, heated seats front and back, cooled seats in the front only. Uh, then you have a massage feature in the front. You can choose from all different massages for passenger and the driver 
And actually, they work pretty good. I wish they actually had an option, though, to massage your bottom. I, I know some other cars had it, and that it really kind of is useful for some people for long distance drives, just to get the blood going. And this has active side bolsters, meaning when you're cornering, the side bolsters will come in on the side you're leaning on, and when you're finished the corner, it releases. So it gives you optimum support, but it doesn't really grab you all the time, which is great, especially for people that don't like to be constricted. I mentioned the heated seats. I should mention this does come with a power tilt and telescopic steering wheel and heated as well. I uh, should mention though that the heat is on the leather and it takes a while and it can get still be kind of cool on the wood surface on the top. But I got a feeling that most people buying this S-Class cab, they're really not really driving it in the winter time so much. So not a huge issue, but heat. When you turn your seat heat on, you also have an option in the menu. You can heat your arm surfaces. I love it. So what does that mean? Seat gets nice and toasty. And this center console, it'll heat up. And the armrest on the door panel. How cool is that? It doesn't seem like a big deal, but once you've had it, I'm gonna have a hard time going back to my own car without it, that's for sure. Since the cab is based on the S-Class Coupe, well, most coupes don't have a lot of room for the passengers in the back, and this one, same, it doesn't. Uh, unless you move the seat fairly far forward, say for the passenger, there's not a lot of leg room back there, and that's gonna be an issue if you're a taller driver for the person behind you. And just in case you need to install a couple of car seats in the back there, uh, they're very easy to install with the Isofix attachments right underneath the leather flap, and uh, the kids do love the open air driving, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, it's time to drive. Just to let you know, it's pretty cold out right now. It's been raining for uh, the better part of the week here, but uh, I got the top down and I've got the, the seat heaters on with the armrest as well, the steering wheel, heat is on, but one other thing, right beside the button, of the heated seats is the air scarf. What that is, is behind me and the passenger seat, there is a fan and it blows hot air onto your neck, hence the name air scarf. You really want to shelter yourself from the wind if it's a little bit too windy for you. There is a button in the middle console, we're going to press that. See behind me now, a screen goes up and in the front, a little spoiler pops up from the windshield and that's called the air cap and what it does is it, it directs the airflow right over the cabin and between that and the windows all the way up and all this heated everything you could really drive this thing any time of year. Three different types of cabs are available in the S-Class. The S550, which we are driving right now, and that comes with a 4.7 liter twin turbo V8, putting out 449 horsepower, but 516 pound-feet of torque. The next one is the S63 AMG, and that also has a twin turbo V8, but that's a five and a half liter, and that has 577 horsepower, and 664 pound-feet of torque. Now, if you want to go for the ultimate and top-down Mercedes driving, then you go to the S65 AMG. That comes complete with a six-liter V12 engine, and that puts out 621 horsepower, and get this, 737 pound-feet of torque. Woo! This is no slouch whatsoever. I really enjoy this type of power. Just Listen to this thing. Get that beautiful sound of that V8 just rumbling. It's not too obtrusive, but it's there. This S550 comes with a nine-speed automatic transmission. You do have paddle shifters. It's not a dual clutch system, but uh, it's plenty fast for this type of vehicle. What I like about it with nine gears, uh, doesn't matter what speed you're doing, you're always gonna be in the right gear. You just press down a little bit and you're right there. Press down a little bit more, kicks down a couple of gears. That motor really comes to life. 
The wheels driven, the 550 comes in a rear wheel drive configuration, as does the S65, the big dog. The middle S63 AMG comes with a 4MATIC to put all that power to the ground. All S-Class cabs come with the Airmatic uh, suspension, which is the air suspension, and you can raise or lower the car. Uh, we can put it into sport or comfort setting for the suspension. And then for their drive select, we also have a sport button as well. And that's going to change throttle mapping, your steering. I'm really impressed on how quiet the cabin is in this cabriolet. Like you hear everything. Of course you hear a lot of traffic, but there is so little wind. And here's something I wanna show you. So, kind of a bonus here. This soft top can be retracted or put up while you're moving, as long as you're doing under 50K. There we go. And we are done. I'm gonna put the windows up because I want you to hear something or hear the lack of something. Listen to how quiet the interior is now with the top up. Now remember, this is a rag top. Now listen, I'm actually whispering right now. It's that quiet. This rivals the quietness of cabins with a, a regular, hard top. It's quite amazing. But enough of that. We are in a convertible. So off comes the top again. I could honestly go on a long, long road trip with this vehicle. I'd have zero problem with it. Seriously. And I don't even like to drive long distances. One thing I can really get used to in this car, these active side bolsters, <laughs> they're awesome. This S-Class also has a ton of technology, including Distronic Plus with steering assist. We can activate it right now. So that's a radar-based cruise control with cameras. And uh, so it's gonna brake for us or accelerate for us. But it has steering assist as well, hands off the wheel. And you can see that it is keeping us in the lane and steering for us. Now, it's not gonna do that for a long period of time. It's telling me to put my hands back on the wheel, but the bonus of this system is if you're in stop and go traffic, say under 30 kilometers an hour, it'll do it pretty well indefinitely. And in the Vancouver area, that's a huge thing because we have a lot of traffic. This S-Class cab is everything that I love in a vehicle. I love that luxurious high horsepower. It gets you up to speed so quick, yet it's so refined and silky. The interior, it's modern and luxurious, and it just really pampers you. And the quietness just will blow your mind. You know, over the week while I was driving it, I was in traffic, in the rain, on open roads, top up, top down, didn't matter. Whenever I was driving this, it really put me into a special place. And I'll call that my happy place. So if I had 170 grand to spend on a car, this would be it. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up, and if you want to see more everyday reviews, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. <laughs>